Hello, how are we going today? Um, today we're going to be looking at what we can make under shifter. So this is assuming that we are going second. Uh, we'll go going second first and then we'll go and do a going first game afterwards. So let's start with a beaver and a shifter. So let's assume that the opponent goes main one and let's say they activate. Actually, let's go draw phase. They activate wanted to search, right? So you change shifter and the wanted goes to banish zone, etc, etc. Uh, this is assuming we're playing against a Fire King Snake Eye deck or just a pure Snake Eye. They'll normally probably pass soon after. Maybe they'll make like a little bird, the the stalling bird, the rank one, or they'll uh, end on like an SP or something and they'll just pass turn. So we'll go to uh, our turn. So we'll go draw phase, main one. This is assuming that we have uh, four other cards in hand because, of course, we're going second. We'll go to Normal Summon Beaver, Beaver Effect to search. And we'll grab the Angler. So if they make an SP, it can be rough if you don't open any other um, level 2s, any other sprites that is to summon out. Uh, that is also assuming that you don't open EMP because there will be an extra body that will summon first. Uh, so Beaver, Specials, doesn't search, sorry. Specials the Angler. You got Overlay. Gigantic. Effect. So we'll banish the Angler. Special out the sprite blue. We'll go blue effect, search. Grab jet. On res, they can't draw you because you, uh, you have shifter. And we'll go jet effect, search. Searching out. So here you can search gamma burst if they have nothing on field because this is lethal. So in total, this would be 4,000 plus 141414, which is more than 4,000 again. Um, so that is what, 4-2, right? Yeah, 4-2. So that should be 8.2k damage just with these three bodies alone. That is the gamma burst, but a gamma burst math. My theory is if you can't kill them, otherwise add the starter back to hand. Smashes is obviously not going to be live if you're shifting them. Uh, and then main phase two. Go ahead and make a herald of pure light. And all you're going to do is with one of the, let's say this draw a random card, right? With whatever else you have in your hand. You're going to use uh, Pure Light's effect, detaching for cost, targeting the um, D shifter, and we'll go D shifter to hand. And then we'll put back the extra card to top deck and shuffle. And then we're going to just set the starter. And then we'll move to this is after the main phase, to after the battle phase, of course, after the swing. And then um, we'll set starter. You can activate here actually if you want to. Right? It depends. Like if you want jet or um, jet or blue for more follow up later on, you can do it during their turn. Uh, otherwise, you can activate it now just for like a red or a carrot on board for another negate, which is never a bad idea. But to be honest, on the shifter they can't do too much. So go end phase, and then during their turn again, after they draw that for their turn, you can just shift them again, recycle, rinse and repeat, right? And then uh, assuming they don't have much else, you can then just go ahead and just OTK them with. Uh, gigantic spike during your turn, summon blue, summon jet, grab gamma burst, etc, etc. Got attack position, attack for game. Alright, let's do a reset. So this is assuming that you're going first, and this will probably be game two, because I would never recommend just blind shift during game one, if you're going first. I'd rather just use the, the nimble, uh, the nimble angular line with the sprint, right? And you also turn off EMP. Uh, I think that's about all your shutting off and as well. Um, so if you're going first against your opponent and uh, you know that um, they're playing a deck that's vulnerable to shifter, same thing. So you go draw phase, shifter. Oops, not special. Shift to the grave to activate it. And you go stand by main phase, normal summon the beaver, same thing, beaver effect. And then uh, summon the angler. Overlay. The issue with this part here is if you get ashed on the gigantic, it can be a bit rough. So preferably you'd have other bodies on field already. Um, but otherwise, if it's all good, then you can go ahead and go blue. Search jet, special jet. Search uh, starter. And then overlay. So here you can actually go for a melfi of the forest. If you're going first because detach search the melfi stuff all is fine under shifter which is amazing 
Uh, I'd probably, if I was going first, in like a game two scenario, I'd probably go starter here as well. Uh, bring out the carrot. Burn a thousand. And obviously the reason for carrot is because just in case they play evenly, right? Or some like kind of board breaker. And then you move to end phase and you go caddy effect to special summon. And that's that. During that turn, they go standby main phase. Yeah, all good. If they normal summon anything, let's say it's summon an ash to search. Maybe they want to go for a link two again. You go trigger caddy's effect. Caddy to hand. He can search for beaver or you can search for pinny, depending on how defensive you want to be. Obviously, this will be another starter and this will be... Um, just an omni on your turn. You do have the gigantic for starter, assuming they don't kill it. They can make a typhoon as well, so be careful of that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I probably just get penny most of the time. Obviously, it depends on the rest of your cards as well in your hand. Um, you can easily stop them, depending on what your hand is. Uh, but yeah, search penny, and then we'll go Melfi of the Forest effect, targeting the, let's say, Snake Eye Ash to negate it and stop it from attacking. Uh, not that it could use its send effect on the shifter, but it can still swing over whatever. I, th I don't think it has much attack, but with the field spell up, everything gains 1100, which is quite significant. So we'll go penny effect on resolution to synchro summon off into Herald of the Arc Light. And then assuming they pass there because they're under shift and can't do much, you can go draw face down by main on your turn after drawing a card, and of course you just go with the standard gigantic sprite line with the blue into jet if they draw you here you can actually they can't even draw you because you have herald up still right assuming you haven't used it yet if you have used it let's say you've uh attributed it up for like a, a, some kind of spell maybe talents or something i don't know doesn't matter um you still have carried it and everything as well maybe you should have carried it instead right uh but yeah and then jet just grab a burst Gamma Burst to hand, to attack, to attack, to attack, and you just swing for game with Gamma Burst. Um, if you don't manage to kill them, of course, what do you do? You overlay here again, into the fun card, Pure Light, and you should have like three other cards or something, I wasn't counting, but you got Pure Light effect, same thing, right? Rinse and repeat. Pure Light to add back to hand. So what is Pure Light? Pure Light is just like a, a card to counter their store techniques the store cards or um a card to just recycle any good hand trap against them let's say droll against manadium shifter against like half the decks in the middle right you can even add back a blue if you really need to and you have the spare cards in your hand um so herald of pure light is going to be amazing in this format uh a lot of the time you can't actually kill under shifter so what you want to do is just herald recycle it and then kill them next turn uh they can also play let's say like a baguska if they're playing a, a four spam deck or um, like it's what they used to make with T element, right? Um, they might make the the bird that I was talking about before. There's also like a Liralusk that you know protects itself, whatever, whatever. Um, Slack magician as well. So all those store cards, you can just make this. This is the anti store card. You just bring back the shifter and then you recycle it again. This is all with just nimble beaver. Of course, if you open up a little bit better with let's say a nimble beaver plus a blue, let's see what the end board would look like. Let's say we're going first and then we're going second again. Uh, that's with Beaver and Blue. All right, let's take a quick look. And then finally, I also want to go over um, what you can do with... I have a mind blank now, my God. Give me a second. Uh, here's my deck list, by the way. I'll probably, okay, the reason why I haven't done a decklist video just yet is because I want to test it out myself, right? Like against um, the fire stuff, it works really well. I have not lost like a single game, so maybe like one or two games, but it depends on how, how, like, how poorly I draw, right? Um, but against uh, voiceless voice, it's kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but that's probably because I don't know the deck well enough. I've only played it like three times. And I'm trying to figure out where to ash, where to impact, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah. All right, so going first on the shifter. Again, this will be a game two scenario where you know shifter cooks them. You go draw phase, shifter, uh, main phase, you get beaver, and then go beaver effect. Uh, 
and then you can go blue effect just in case the lunatic plays ogre and kills off your um your gigantic and you don't, you don't have any two bodies left and i don't quite remember off the top of my head whether or not ogre discards the grave for cost or if it just has to be discarded but anyways some gigantic go effect banish that here you can probably just search out like a monster negate right because you already have the two bodies on field um so all this does is give you another negate alternatively you can just summon out caddy um similar to how if you're under draw and you get to a gigantic stage you can still special the caddy just directly from deck you won't have the the finish chain effect of um uh, Melfield the forest but that's all fine and dandy you usually just want the omni negate off the caddy anyways so it's all good and then jet such as starter starter gets you the um uh gets you the red or the carrot so i suppose if you really want to you can get both red and carrot out um you know gigantic gets out carrot you especially red or all the way around because you take less life point damage that makes more sense and then of course um you can go for herald of pure light here you can also go for mannequin cat here you could even go for an ip let's say yeah let's say you want to go for ip here i'm exploring this as well guys by the way because um it hasn't come up too much that i'll actually use it going first but now that i think about it like if it cooks fire king and you can still make you know somewhat of a board uh under shifter why not go for it as well so this will be an end board with uh shifter uh, under shifter with a nimble beaver and uh, a sprite blue or like a, a jet i suppose would be somewhat similar. no it wouldn't it'll be one body down but yeah this is pretty good right you have like a an sp banish you have a bounce for an omni you have a red for a, a monster in the gate um although you do lose some material so maybe ideally you go red tributing gigantic when it's during that turn the ideal order will be red tribute gigantic ip links with uh, red into sp to banish something if you really need to keep going and caddy of course just bounces whatever whatever um let's do one for going second all right so there's shifter let's go to top deck put all these back let's grab out the old beaver and then let's grab a blue all right you are going second they have ended on uh let's go sp again right so sp if you have a sprite in hand doesn't matter actually let's go on one of the stores instead because if it has sp uh if your opponent has sp then it's just uh one less body it's not too bad you can still wait to kill them uh and going second especially everything at attack position just in case you get stopped at some point you can still um attack hopefully with gamma burst if you have that getting some damage The usual stuff right so always play on the nib so make sure you land another sprite before you go into gigantic in case it gets ogre it has happened before uh and then let's go into gigantic gigantic effect to special and we are going to just special out a red here and then if we special the jet and search with jet up the gamma burst that is lethal so it's it's quite simple going second right like the whole point of it is to just deny them of as much as possible and then just try and otk them and this is with what three cards we so have three additional cards to do whatever else with let's say maybe you have a super poly or like maybe cosmics because people play anti-spell and summon them at the fun cards right uh maybe you have tactics or meow mine if they end on sp especially meow mine non-activated card effect yeah um i hope that was useful for you guys asking about shifter uh, if you have any other questions relating to this deck and how you can do whatever, feel free to ask. Um, and of course, the, the sorry, just back to this real quick. Uh, of course, if you don't manage to kill them, do the math first. If you feel like you can't Gamma Burst, kill them because you don't have enough bodies or something. Don't search the Gamma Burst, just search a starter, uh, starter for Carrot. And then you can overlay here again for, um, for Pure Light. And then pure light gets back to shift up. But anyways, yeah. All right. Um, that will be everything for today. Take care and have a good one. Bye.